Okay, I straight up don't remember what I did last time, and honestly, I might have to get used to some things, because I, since the last episode, have probably spent um, a fair number of hours not playing this, and instead playing the other Hyperlight Drifter, which is to say, um, the original Drifter story. Which, oh my gosh, I, it was so good. I found all of these things. I am going to be working on getting all of the currencies and such. Basically, uh, I cheated. Not really, but this, this specific story is going to become a whole lot less... Well, actually, I'm going to forget everything as it stands, but... Um, it's going to get to a point where some of the things I just do and don't explain and it will absolutely seem artificial but that's because it is <laughs> but there are absolutely aspects that there's there are going to be parts in this game where I I go like didn't I get that and I'll completely forget that no I did not this was going to end up being one of those times. This isn't quite necessary yet. Uh, but it is quite interesting. Let me tell you. At least I believe so. Oh god. Unless I'm for, unless I'm remembering it wrong. This is the short gun. This is the... Oh, I never actually upgraded my guns. Not that it matters. And I didn't make it. Hey, it worked out. Howdy. See, this really works out, actually, because... Um, I... Uh, my range is just actually so much better than original Drifter. And also... Just among other things, uh, health could be better. That's about it. All I need to do is make sure that I don't die. Easy. Oh, yeah, that. I believe there should be something over here. Oh, yeah, here. Here we are. Oh, that's odd. That's really good, though, because um, in the original Drifter's story, it's very difficult to hit those fr the flying ones without a gun. Try it, yeah. This one, we, you have such a disjointed hitbox that it's, it's extremely easy. So that's going to be really helpful later. You'll see. We're not... I'm, we're likely not going to get to the specific portion that I'm thinking about in this episode. But it's going to be really helpful later. <laughs> Trust me. Was that just a gear bit? I figured out they're called gear bits, by the way. This is extremely important. I don't know if I got that one. Either. So that's another interesting thing. That I can come look at in my other playthrough. Also, there's this down here. I don't know if I got this either. I didn't exactly look very hard in here. This is actually very helpful. But hey, and I... Oh, I see. There's like a button under it or something. But you can't go backwards. That's odd. <laughs> This is, this is just going to be, like, doubly helpful for me in the whole secret finding idea, because of... Um, the fact that I'm doing everything again, you know? No, thank you. Here we are.
Okay, yeah, I thought I might actually be able to walk past it. That was a big my bad. But, I'm still back here. So, um, small pistol time. And I got pinched. Of course. Drifting is very important in this game. I'm not cutting this out. Very gamer. Try it. Yeah, there we go. Anything on the floors? I don't believe so. I, uh, I I think it will be more interesting that I've played this before already because of uh, things like not having to scour so much, I suppose. I still will, and I'm going to miss something if I don't to some degree, but, you know, it's not, it's, it won't be as bad as me, I don't know, holding right the whole level. Also, I think... No, never mind. Big gamer time. Yeah. Howdy. Very much so appreciate that. Anything over here? No. Okay. Okay, that's that door open, and these things are moving now, so I need to be a little bit careful. Not too careful, of course. Why would I ever need to be too careful? Haha. <laughs> okay. So I don't actually think there's any secrets in this room. I mean, there's a gear bit, but that was from. Wasn't that the first, like, Cthulhu-looking thing I killed? Hey, there's a gear bit. There's, of course, a healing bit down here. Oh, nice, and it shows me uh, that. I want to say that I go in behind this. Yeah. There we go. I feel like it's just going to be disappointing when I do eventually get through with this. Does that... no, it doesn't actually stop the cubes. The cube. Please no, okay. Yeah, I fell. Alright, that's fine. And I'm back at the start of the room, aren't I? Yes, I am. Of course. What we do here is go back. Well, that simplifies things quite a bit. Oh god. And I... I... got clipped, basically. I didn't think I was in the line of... whatever. Okay! I'm not editing this. It's like, I really could. But it's it's not even gonna be benefited by me editing it. Please don't clip me, okay? I don't think I don't, I don't believe it'll actually be benefited by any, any real form of editing. Um, most of the benefit is entirely in the fact that I am good at the game. Extremely good at the game. This is the part I was not talking about, but it sure does help, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. Dude. <laughs> I'm so freaking good at the game, man. Anyway. I don't think there's anything down here. It, it just seems like there should be, you know? There should be something over off to the side, and there isn't. 
Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything. Yeah, this is enough of a reward for that. I wouldn't think there'd be more secrets beyond this. Very gamer. Now we could go into that other door if we so choose. Extremely worth the entire visit. Where could this take me though? Oh, I think I might have got him up. Yeah. I was thinking of a completely different area. Not gonna lie. Uh, I might end it there. I might. I don't think I will, actually. How many gear bits do I have? Not gear bits. Well, gears, I suppose, since the gear bits create the whatever. Let's see if I can get an upgrade at all. It's like I, um... Uh, it took me about 10 minutes to do that. I think another thing I could do... There's a bit of an area down here. I did see it beforehand. This isn't, like, me cheating or anything. However... It is a little odd. For one, hey, look, now I can get an upgrade. But for two, what the hell is down here? Maybe, hmm... Also, I, since the last episode, um, well actually this was in my other playthrough so it wouldn't carry over here. Wouldn't that be cool though? I, I did the, hey look, what the heck is this? What, what is this area? Oh my gosh, it's the opening sequence area. Dude. Anyway, yeah, let's just... There's literally, there aren't even any, any enemies in here. Well, yeah, there are, but I mean, I, I just lied to you blatantly. I'm not going to act like I didn't. <laughs> this, this hooks up into something else important later. You'll see, maybe. Unless you don't, in which case I'll be somewhat disappointed. But, you know, what can I do about it? Nothing. That's the answer, by the way. Also, I think I've started to get into a more, like, gunner-centric fighting style in this game. Uh, because you only really get three hits. Later on, we, um, there's... It's not a rush-type thing, but... Hey, look. Oh, what the hell? Interesting that they let me collect that twice. Actually, did this... Oh my god. Did this game start here? Because the original Drifter storyline absolutely started here. So I don't remember, actually, if this... It probably didn't. Oh my gosh. No, it didn't. I, this is the first time I've come here. Huh. The original Drifter storyline started in this cave. Basically, he was chilling at that rock. And then we go in here and there's enemies and crap. It's the tutorial area. God, I really don't... I'm gonna have to rewatch episode one. <laughs> this just in, folks. I watch my own videos. No, I don't. But still, I... I never even... I, I completely forgot if Alternate Drifter deals with this because it wouldn't even... it wouldn't make sense if he did, honestly. Thumbnail time, by the way. <laughs> this is... these... it's times like these that are the few times that I feel comfortable taking actual screenshots of the game to use for thumbnails because it's just so beautiful and it's not even characteristic of the game at that point. But anyway, it's it doesn't. It's like I don't I don't want to say anything that will seriously spoil the Hyper Light Drifter original Drifter storyline. But um, there would be no reason for the for the alternate Drifter th this one to have come here at all. So these are the monoliths actually. And I get keys and stuff for coming here. Oh boy. 
Alright. Oh my gosh. Interesting. Okay, what's this right here? I still don't... Oh wait, no, it's a... It's most definitely a color palette swap. You can get by, um... By, uh... By getting all the monoliths. But now... Hey, back in the shop. Back in the... The... The area. How many... How many? Two. Okay. I'm getting a gun upgrade. Because why the heck not? Actually... I don't need it. It's it's almost easier at this point in time to have the same number of uh, bullets, I guess, per gun. And this is getting to be relatively long, episode-wise, so I'm going to get this uh, health pack upgrade. Stim pack upgrade, and now I can carry more of those hoes. You know it, my friend. That is where we're going to end off today, and I think I'm... I'm gonna I'm gonna screw around in here see if I can beat this again. It takes it it literally takes about four minutes to get to 800. I'll see if I can do it. I'll add something a bit on the end if I do. But anyway, like comment and subscribe, please, please, please. Um, or I will literally. Um, send you the tutorial area. I don't know. The opening of the opening and ending of the original Hyperlight Drifter is far more dramatic than this one. I haven't gotten to the ending of this one yet, but that's what I've heard. So I think that'll definitely be probably better as a secondary. And y'all will see when I am done with this, which is perfect because I am legitimately running out of games to make out of, make series out of, not really, but I would have to re-download some. Uh, my whole thing with the story about my uncle is that I didn't want to have to re-download Shantae or Ori, even though those would absolutely make better stories. But I, I don't know, because I've never played a story about my uncle. I've played all the way through Shantae and Ori. So, how about that? Anyway, as I said, like, I'm gonna subscribe where I will literally... Gah, 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 gah. How about that? <laughs> Goodbye! Literally, first freaking try. <laughs> Look down there, 810. Okay, I'm wearing this the rest of the game. I am wearing this the rest of the game. I feel so freaking good about this, oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. Also, occasionally you get you get the ability to... For one, I could go back to the western area and do another kind of speed like drifting combo kind of challenge to get another, another different kind of color scheme. I do not care anymore. I got the rad 800 freaking drifter color palette. I got the red 800 drifter sword. I got the red 800 drifter alternate blue looking robot thing. I feel so freaking good about myself right now. And on the next episode, I am going to feel way even better about myself. That, I honestly don't know what we're doing next time. I don't care. We're doing something, I swear. We're probably getting this bad boy, or maybe we're getting one of the secret ones. I don't remember entirely, but we're gonna do it. And then we're gonna do something else. <laughs> the further quest for octahedrons, or maybe we'll kill a, a bunch of bird shamans. Because they deserve it. But all I know is that I'm maybe never even again going to do the 800 drifter challenge, and if I do... Uh, it won't be televised. And if it is, uh, have fun listening to a spacebar click 810 times at around, um, let me think about what it would be. 240 beats per minute. 240 BPM is, BPM is, uh, about the optimal timing. I literally look at my watch and nothing else and click the spacebar for four, for three and a half minutes. And that's how you win. And I did it. First freaking try. So yeah, next episode, get freaking ready for it. 
Have a wonderful day. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.